In this SkyCAD tutorial, you're going to learn about numbering. In SkyCAD, numbering of projects, sheets and components is all done automatically. And once your project is done, all Y numbers are inserted with just a few clicks. If I create a new sheet for the first time in this project, it is numbered 1. The next sheet will be numbered 2. And so on. If we insert a component, such as a motor, it is numbered MTR1. The next one will be MTR2. This is the default numbering system used in SkyCAD. However, the numbering system in SkyCAD can be customized. For example, prefixing the sheet number to the component tag. Since these components are on sheet 1 of this project, they are prefixed with a 1. Rung numbering can also be used. As you can see, the components are numbered according to their rungs. Customization of numbering systems is covered in a separate tutorial. Numbers can be manually inserted too, to anything you want. I can renumber this circuit breaker to Q1 for example. I can renumber this pin number to L1. And I can renumber a sheet of a project to something else. But I cannot renumber this sheet to sheet 1 because sheet 1 already exists for that project. 1 is already assigned to an existing object. This uniqueness control applies to everything in SkyCAD, components, sheets and wire numbers, so that everything has a unique number. To access the renumbering tools, just make sure any element from your project is selected, like a symbol, a sheet, or even the project itself. And select the tab called Renumbering Process. These tools will only affect the current project. Let's start with these three tools. Here we have Renumber Sheets. This renumbers the sheet sequentially in case you have moved them out of sequence. Renumber wires renumbers all the wires from top to bottom, left to right. To demonstrate renumbering wires, I'll insert a generic motor starter so we have some wires on the schematics. Click on the renumbering process tab and click renumber wires. As you can see, all wires have been numbered. Y numbers can also be manually inserted. Take note that if you have manually entered a number for a sheet, component or Y number, the renumbering tools will not affect them anymore. Should you wish to move Y numbers, click on the Home tab and select Move Connection Text on Axis. As you know with electrical designing, adding Y numbers is usually best left until last. This is because during your design, you often add components, wires, delete things and move them around. Trying to add Y numbers as your design evolves may be chaotic. So, as you've probably already been doing, we recommend leaving the numbering of wires in SkyCAD until the final stages of your design. Let's go back to the Renumbering Process tab. Renumber Components renumbers all the components from top to bottom, left to right. For example, once I click Renumber Components, the order of these motors will change from MTR2, 1 and 3 to MTR1, 2 and 3, as it should be. If I delete MTR2, 
and click Renumber Components, MTR3 changes to MTR2. The first icon, Renumber, does it all. It renumbers all the sheets, wires and components all in one. If you are working on a completed design and you make changes, it's usually a good idea to run a quick renumbering to make sure that everything is still numbered sequentially.